I just want to tie up my hair because it's so hot. <laughs> What's up guys? It's me Tati. Welcome back to my channel and today as you guys saw by my delicious thumbnail, we're going to be doing a review slash demonstration in our channel so we can practice our English and hopefully learn a lot of new words. So we ordered this beautiful pen by Zewilling or Zewilling or Zewilling, I don't know how to pronounce it, and it's the ceramic nonstick coating. Those pens are awesome. I had them before in the past and I still have them, so that's why I feel very comfortable and very confident and tell you about this pen. Otherwise, you guys know, I just opened my channel <laughs> and I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> So it came in this beautiful box and here is my ceramic nonstick coating pen. Beautiful now. Nah? Handle, amazing. I always like to have like a beautiful handle. <laughs> yes, yeah. And this time it came with a glass lid. The first time actually I didn't have the glass lid, I just got the pen. So basically in this video I'll be show you my pen like I just did. I will give you a demonstration of a recipe that we're gonna be doing in this pen and also by the end of the video I'm gonna tell you how I take care of this beautiful beautiful pen so it could last me for such a long time because the first two ones that I got it was about five or six years ago if I can find a recipe the recipe no if I can find the receipt I will leave them over here and you guys can check it out so right now let's just jump to our demonstration so you guys can see how well this beautiful pen works and then when we come back I'm gonna just like give you like lots of of tricks and tips so you can have your pen looking as beautiful as mine for a long long time okay so let's jump in our recipe and when we come back I'm just gonna tell you guys everything that I know <laughs> so let's do it I'm heating up my pen at five and a half is a great temperature for this kind of pen and I'm also adding a little bit of butter because I love butter. <laughs> as soon as my pan is hot, I'm just gonna put my two slices of salmon. And salmon is so easy to make because you can see if it's done because you can see the outside layers. But if you're trying to guess, I did four minutes in each side and it was perfect. It came out of the pan, as you guys can see, super easy. You don't have any of the salmon glued to the pan. It was very easy to make. And I'm also making some broccoli because we want to add some vegetables in our diet. And I also want to plate it because I think it looks so gorgeous and so beautiful. And I'm not even like good at cooking and I can make this. It tastes really, really good. So I hope you guys enjoy and leave down in the comments what do you think about this recipe and if you want me to give you all the details in another video. So let's go back to our pen and I just want to show you my new versus my old pen. I just put like a little bow over here so you guys can see that there is a difference because I don't know if it's going to be so obvious in a camera. So over here, my beautiful new one that I just got like 24 hours ago see beautiful and here is my old one over five years old beautiful and how I managed to keep this pen looking amazing like that of course you have to take care of it so my first tip for you is make sure that your pen is completely cold before you wash it don't touch it, don't put water, don't put anything inside your pan if it's warm or hot because that's going to damage your pan and you're going to be pissed. <laughs> the second thing, I'm going to say like the second thing that I definitely advise you to do is or not to do, don't put your pan inside the um, your dishwasher because you have forks, you have knives, you have plates, you have cups and they all can touch, possibly can touch your pen and then it's gonna be like, 
scratching please don't put your pan inside the a dishwasher so don't do that the other thing that you also can do to make your pan last a long time is to wipe them when you finish cooking and you're like oh my gosh I want to clean this as fast as possible what you can do is let them cool so you don't burn your hands and then you get a paper towel and you wipe them and they will look amazing they will look clean you can even use them later if you want to all you have to do is wipe them and put them away until you have time to clean it oh. And oh my gosh I almost forgot this this will be oh can not forget this absolutely do not use any kind of metal spoon when you're cooking because you can make like little risk over here and you don't want to do this so don't risk your pan for because you don't want to go to your cabinet and get a spoon for five seconds so make sure that you do this so, and I also have I just want to show you my little one that I got also a long time ago I think this is a 20 centimeters but as you guys can see it has like a little stains over there but they look amazing and I just want to say that because you might think oh my gosh but those pans don't last for such a long time and you are right this was not made to the non-stick thing to last forever so my pan it doesn't have any non-stick thing anymore <laughs> it's just a beautiful pan but if I want to fry an egg I can do it but it's my egg is not gonna just like slice off my pan like it would do with my new one I'm just able to do whatever I want, cook whatever I want over here, but it's not a non-stick anymore, okay? And I just want to say something to you like super fast that make sure that you don't put this in the oven, okay? Because those pans, they were not made to be overheated. They were not made to have a lot of heat in your pan because they're delicate. Look at them. They're like a beautiful ceramic flower <laughs> so guys i hope you guys enjoy this crazy video today and also if you wanna check out this pin and buy one for yourself because they are amazing i would love for you to have one like i do i'm gonna leave the link down below and you guys can check it out of course and that's it for today i hope you guys enjoy and if you want you can just watch the video and write down every single word that I said that was wrong because I will read them and I will try to prove for my next video okay so thank you so much for being here subscribe to my channel if you're new here and if you are subscribed to my channel thank you so much I really appreciate that and kisses beijos and see you next time ciao